sometimes I think about all the things I've learned in natural health, and a lot of the times they seem more like magic than actual health modalities. Um, in this case, this is uh, about Jin Shin Jitsu, or JSJ for short. I learned a little bit about this through my naturopathic program, and it was pretty fascinating that there's basic interventions that I can do that can help somebody if they're having a heart attack or a stroke or other types of issues with their heart. This is one in particular that I had experience with with my wife. Uh, she's, she was pregnant while she was pregnant, and in the third trimester, she had a heavier load on her heart than she's used to normally, and she actually was having some slight heart palpitations. And so I just figured, let's just do some JSJ. So I grabbed her pinky finger and her ring finger on her left hand, uh, wrapped my hands around that, my left hand around that, and then I took my right hand and uh, placed it open behind her back on her middle shoulder blades. And this works to complete the circuit with my, my electrical energy and my heart energy that was being short-circuited by her heart, etc. So when I completed that path circuit, I was supporting her heart with my heart. And very quickly, 30 seconds to a minute later, all of her heart palpitations went away. And I just continued to sit there with her, and um, it just took a little bit, but she did continue to have regular heartbeats after that. Um, so we talked and just talked about things, and then I pulled pulled away. I took my hands off of her, and a little bit later, she said, yeah, I'm actually having a little bit of palpitations again. Let's do it again. And after I did it a second time, then she she did it again. And it went away. So it was very successful. It worked very quickly and was not any trouble at all. And this is one of the ways that I've, I've heard this technique in Jin Shin Jitsu. You could use this to help somebody if they're in the middle of a heart attack. You don't have to be all weird about it, but if you could just gently ask them if they're okay with you holding their hand or touching their back, then you might be able to really save a life. So other than that, um, Jensen Jitsu has an interesting history. The modern day guy who rediscovered it noticed that in all these different photos of these mystical figures from history, like, say, Jesus or Buddha or anybody else in paintings, etc., uh, anybody consistently had different handholds or hand gestures that they would be, they would have on their hands. And so he went on some type of discovery and just, I don't know, through trial and error or what it was, but made it his lifelong uh, how do you say that, lifelong um, goal to rediscover and know what all these hand gestures did and how they worked and what they do. And it turns out some of them are really good for helping you focus on your breath. Some of them are really good for helping you um, relieve stress, uh, helping you to reset your emotional balance kind of deal. If you're feeling way over emotional, then some of these could very easily do that. So uh, it's really amazing, and I would definitely be looking for more information myself. I want to learn more about this modality and under understand it better and just to see how it could benefit me and everyone else that I know that I'm close to and that I interact with on a regular basis kind of deal. So, like, share, subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. If there's anything you'd like to see me review or talk about or anything like that, please leave me a comment or shoot me a message through uh, the messenger here on YouTube. 
uh, email at the same address as, as my YouTube channel um, at Gmail. So get a hold of me, guys. Thanks so much.